Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video we will explore my SQL for Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I've got lots of videos coming up. So let's get to it now. My SQL is a relational database management system based on SQL which is structured query language. The application is used for a wide range of purposes such as data warehousing, e-commerce, login application, etc. The most common use for MySQL, however, is for the purpose of web application databases or website databases. It can be used to store anything from a single record of information to an entire inventory of available products for an online store so let's get started then so as you can see here i've opened a browser with google.co.uk.com so what we do is we search for my sql for visual studio So in, in, in most scenarios, we should get the, the resource as the first, the first, which is a dev.mysql.com. So we click on the download MySQL for Visual Studio. So once we've, we've got this page opened, then we can scroll down and we actually select the operating system which is applicable to our system or the, the system we're using so here there are a bunch of stuff that obviously you can do so you can actually download the, the msi installer or you can download it in, in zip so I'll, I'll, I'll actually download it in the installer so here, obviously, you are prompted to create a new Oracle web account or you can log in, but we're not going to need any of that. We're just going to click on this. No, thanks. Just start my download. So once you click on this bit here, the download will be started. I'm just going to cancel it because I've already got that bit sorted out. So once once you actually complete downloading this bit here mysql for visual studio then you can click on it so once the download is completed and you click on it obviously you'll be taken to this mysql ins installer so adding the community version obviously so for these options here then you can select which is applicable to you in this case we're just gonna select the developer default so, so this installs all products needed for my sql development purposes right so once we've actually checked on this bit here then we can click on the next so here we can select one of this bit here or we can click on the execute yeah so we're just gonna wait So actually click, um, don't uh, cancel whatever that is actually downloading. Don't, don't click on the execute, cancel it and then come back and click on the next instead. So one or more product requirements have not been satisfied. Just don't, never mind with that. Just click yes. So here you have a bunch of products that are ready to be installed. So we click on the execute actually so here we will get all the necessary stuff downloaded and installed so we're just gonna wait it might take a while we wait one while the whole thing get installed so as you can see now we've got the pro all the products installed so what we're gonna do next is obviously click on the next and then click on the next again so here we will select the standalone MySQL server. So here we're going to select all the details that is needed, obviously. So we're just gonna the config type. We're gonna leave the config type 
as a development computer so we're not gonna change any bit from here so click on the next so here we will use the use a strong password encryption for authentication we're just gonna leave it at the top bit here. so here you can add your, your your password to the to the root account I mean this root account password so you can add it your password that you want to add So once you, you've added the password, we can click on the next or we can add a user as well. So we're just going to click on the next bit here. So Windows service name. So the service name, we're just going to leave it here as it is. Click on the next bit and then now we can execute. So now we've got that bit also sorted out. So we're just going to click on the finish. So here, we're going to click on the next as well. Then we click on the finish. So here we can test our password with the connection. So we've got the connection succeeded. So we click on the next bit. Click on the execute. So as you can see here, we've got the execution completed. Click on the finish. Next. So here the installation procedure has been completed. So you can start MySQL workbench after setup start the mysql shell after setup so we're just going to do exactly that so as you can see the shell is being started so we're going to wait for the work the workbench to also start so as you can see we've got a workbench so mysql workbench is the official graphical user interface tool for mysql it allows you to design create and browse your database schemas work with databases object and insert data as well as design and run sql queries to work with stored data you can also migrate schemas and data from other database vendors to mysql database so as you can see let's open one of the connections So we've got the database connected here. So all I'm going to do is I've got the Visual Studio open here. I'm going to close it and reopen it. So I've got a Visual Studio reopen. Let's look inside the Server Explorer on the data connection. Right click it and add connection. So here, as you can see, a change in the installation of the connector has been identified. Do you want to execute the configuration tools? So we're just going to click on yes. So we might be prompted to restart it. So if that's the case, and I'll just pause the video. I'll just stop the video and make the second version of it. If not, then. We're just gonna take it as it is. So let's let's hope we we don't we're not prompted to restart. So now, please rest, restart affected version of the Visual Studio. Obviously, we have to restart the Visual Studio instead. So. Server name is obviously the local host. But the user name is the root. And then the password. 
So now we can test the connection. So as you can see, we've got the, the connection succeeded. So I'm just gonna leave this bit here. So from here, you can go about it and do what you want to do. So I'm 